Welcome back. 14 minutes past the hour on your Thursday. Yeah, Erin, we kind of hit the uh, snow record or we were close to it. I feel like we're kind of close to that with, with rain. Uh, it's the never-ending story here when it comes to the widespread rain that we continue to see across South Central. In fact, right now through September 11th, we're sitting at the fourth wettest year uh, at 15.33 inches. Now the wettest goes to 2022 at 18.51 inches. And we'll have the potential for an additional quarter to a half an inch of rainfall today across western parts of South Central. Uh, so by tomorrow, we could be approaching uh, 16 inches of precipitation for the year. Looking at uh, the days so far this year, this is uh, including our snow days as well, uh, how many days we've seen uh, with precipitation through September 11th. You can see last year was an outlier, 102 days. Of course, most of that, while last year was a wet one, uh, most of those days uh, fell in the form of snowfall. As you remember, early last year, we did see uh, January and uh, February certainly bring some widespread snowfall. Uh, but for this year, we're currently sitting at 79 days with a uh, wet weather. And of course, uh, certainly has been uh, dealing with those wet conditions this summer. And then as we transition into the fall months, uh, we continue to hold on to this uptick in that active weather. Widespread rain occurring through Prince William Sound Western parts of South Central uh, holding on to that rain as well. There's that dry time we're seeing uh, for parts of the Kenai through the Anchorage Bowl into the Matsu Valley or Matanuska Valley. That will quickly build in. Notice how that band of drier air is already beginning to uh, get smaller as rain showers build back into the region. So by 7 to 8 a.m., all locations should be sitting uh, with those uh, widespread rain. Winds continuing to increase as well. Just within the last hour, you can see uh, the winds coming in out of the north, northeast, funneling through Cook Inlet will lead to some winds anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour. And of course, from uh, the, Gulf, uh, the northern parts of the Gulf Coast region from Seward out towards Prince William Sound, uh, we'll see some gusty conditions as well. So that's our biggest impacts through the day. Rain stays with us. We'll see on average, again, a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall outside of Prince William Sound, which we'll see the potential for up to an inch. Uh, rain tapers off overnight into Friday. Early morning rain showers to be expected tomorrow. And then late afternoon, we should begin to see some sunshine returning to the region. So we'll catch a break from that rain. Uh, we'll see Saturday largely on the dry side for the first half of the day. And then more rain builds in. A Saturday evening on into Sunday. So the takeaway over the next seven days is at least we'll see a day or two uh, where we are going to see some dry weather to get outdoors before more rain uh, builds into the region. So here's our forecast precip totals. Again, up to about an inch of rain additional out towards Whittier. You can see uh, eastern parts of uh, Prince William Sound uh, sitting on the lower side, but I think we'll certainly see more than that, uh, likely anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain to Prince William Sound, while western parts of South Central, as well as the Copper River Basin, see anywhere from about a quarter uh, to a half an inch inch of rainfall. So that stays with us through the day, tapering off into our Friday morning. Uh, temperatures today will be on the cooler side, low to mid 50s for most locations, although you can see across the Kenai, uh, we may see a few areas warming into the upper 50s. Uh, drier though for Kodiak, where we'll see a high of 62. Through Prince William Sound, we've got those breezy and wet conditions, those temperatures warming into the low to mid 50s, fairly quiet through the valley in terms of the winds. Uh, those rain showers will continue through the remainder of the day. And again, that was rain tapers off early tomorrow morning. We'll see some sunshine returning to the region. And then as we welcome in our Saturday and Sunday, more rain builds back in primarily towards the evening hours for your Saturday. All right, thanks, Aaron.